Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ken's Ghetto Kitchen. Today we're not doing a ghetto recipe. We're doing an actual, like, really awesome recipe. It, it's a frittata, a Tex-Mex frittata. We've got Lunia here because I have no idea how to make this. She knows how to make it. I'm, I'm stupid when it comes to this. I can make pasta and pizza, but when it comes to, like, more than four things, forget about it. I'm, I'm not your guy. So today, she's going to be your guy. Alright, so um, the reason why I wanted to do this was because I asked Ken, hey, do you think your, your subscribers would want to see something vegetarian and maybe something vegetarian was up your alley, unlike a lot of the other Ken's Ghetto Kitchen recipes? Yeah, I, we know chickens aren't vegetables, so it's it's like very minimalistic with the... Uh, so it's like an ovalecto vegetarian yeah. dish. Um, if you want to do it with meat, you can, you're can. you welcome to throw some chorizo in there, but uh, for today what we're going to use is cumin, pepper, salt, uh, rotel, just one can, uh, black beans, we'll probably just use half the can, uh, a splash of half and half, we'll use probably this whole thing of cheese, and some olives, scallions, avocado, cilantro, and six eggs. Alright, so what's step one in this whole process? Step one would be to mix up the eggs, so I'll be whisking the eggs either with a fork or a whisk. Okay. Okay, let's and, do that then. Alright. Once you have it all mixed together like this, what you're going to do is you're going to pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. Round about. Uh, about that time. Just keep an eye on it. I mean, if you start to see it like looking like it's burning, obviously take it out. But you should be fine at around 40 minutes. So set your timer for maybe like 35 and then check on it for 5 minutes. So there you have it, your nice little Tex-Mex, uh, you know, frittata. It's right there. <laughs> I thought we weren't being awkward with she this video. Me. I don't know, she pushed me forward, so I was like... I was trying to tell this. you to move to the side more, yes, but that's all. That's why. So yeah, there's... Yeah, the yeah. cross-section is going to look pretty, but right now it just kind of looks burnt. But it it's smells not burnt. good. It smells really good. It's definitely not burnt. It's not black. Is that your threshold? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, chard is like... Good stuff, you know? When do we get to eat it? Right now. Yeah, really, really soon. So, do you want to cut into it now? Yeah, let's, yeah, cut, into let's it. cut into it. I don't know. Do I have to say anything else? Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Why are you asking me? Hit that like button. Uh, what are you doing? Please stop. So, if you like this video, you want to see more, you can subscribe. You can hit the like button down below. And uh, we'll see you next time on Ken's Ghetto Kitchen. Yeah. Thank you, Spike. Make sure you love your pets. Thank you. Leave a comment down below. Thanks what for do watching. cats taste what do they taste like? No. He's next. Stop. I really hope I don't burn myself. That's what I'm most concerned yeah, about. Yeah, please right don't. Now. Burn yourself. I don't want to put this. I will actually burn myself. Because Put an ice cube on it. I can't with temperature. I can't. Just try your best. <laughs> You gonna burn me, aren't you? <laughs> Did it burn? Is it good? Mm-hmm. All right. It's really cheesy. And now we're gonna go over here to you. All right. Taste test. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit of cake. Our first non-ghetto meal in Ken's Ghetto Kitchen. Let's try it out here. Yeah, that is gonna burn, huh? Smells like a like smells like it's gonna burn no matter what. How spicy is it? What's the level of spice? No spice? Uh not no spice. I would say three out of ten. Let's put it in. <laughs> Burning hot. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. 